Good morning, folks. Taking a quick look at Isaac as shared by NOAA's Environmental Visualization Laboratory. It's dropped multiple tornadoes. Its slow speed gave it time to flood many parts of the Gulf Coast, including some that Katrina missed seven years ago. We're not out of the woods just yet. You remember the top story from a few days ago. NOAA scientists are now commenting on these indicators, saying that while records will be broken from time to time, this is truly a sign of change. You got this link as well below. It shows you which planets are visible on stereo, so you can't be fooled by anyone fear-mongering out there on YouTube. You can see these, and actually they didn't label this one, but this is actually the lens flare of Earth coming into the HI1 frame here. The shakiest location yesterday was my number one East Coast tsunami threat. Multiple four-pointers, all of which are above average, even had a five-pointer. When I zoom in here, you can see the north side of these islands facing the U.S. East Coast. You can see where the landslides have occurred over the centuries. There were also a number of earthquakes near Los Angeles. The largest was a 4.1. This was caught by a couple of you guys before I saw it. Two buoys registered odd events. Off Japan, we had 40 meter swings, and Indonesia saw a 60 meter swing. Well, it's even crazier when I checked it this morning. First, this buoy not only hasn't stopped, but has increased its variance, and Indonesia is showing more than a 100 meter drop, and it's staying there. Someone who really knows this stuff, I'd love you to comment on whether these figures can be trusted. Solar activity is rising slowly, coming up off the floor. If I come to the one minute updater, as of 5.30 a.m., we're getting pretty close to M flares. They're mostly coming from behind the limb, actually, where you see that great brightness just behind the plasma filament. But soon he may get some help. Looking back two days, you remember this once great sunspot. As soon as she began to face Earth, she fell apart. But hours after doing so, some new spots were born right behind it. Eyes open there. Sky watchers, you know we got a full moon tomorrow, but before that, if you were standing on the sun right now, you would have Venus on one side, and in opposition, you would see Saturn. Last but not least, these filaments are going unstable. Watch for eruptions today along with the solar wind from that dark coronal hole. That's the news, folks. Be safe.